Oopsie, the open term in Eurorackit is out. Hi, this is Urs from Gaudi Labs, and in this video, I want to give you a um, basic idea of what an open term in, in a modular Eurorack system can look like and can do. So, this is a simple setup I built with a Eurorack case built in the open term in. The open term in is basically the same as in the standalone version. It comes with like the MIDI software pre-programmed and the gate signal activated. What is new is this open theremin breakout board. It breaks out the audio of the theremin as well as the control voltage for the volume and the pitch and also the gate signal. Additionally, it has a nice full-size DIN MIDI connector and a USB-C uh, native connection also for the MIDI can also be changed to just upload new software to the theremin. And finally, we've got the headphone out. This is a stereo headphone out with a volume control. This can be useful also for pre-listening the theremin sound. Then we have the antenna connector breakout boards. This is a new system with some nice connectors that make it easy to integrate the antennas into the Eurorack format. It comes with a nice screw on connector, so it's quite flexible to change the position. You could, for example, put it like this. And there is two screw options, so all the angles can be freely chosen to integrate into a system in various ways. The open theremin module connects to the breakout board through a micro ribbon cable and also the open theremin breakout board then features the standard Eurorack power connector to power the whole system. As on the normal theremin, there is the function button. Pressing it for three seconds starts the calibration. So this calibrates the antennas to the system. It's gonna compensate for all the wires. Else in this uh, setup, we have sound generator. In this case, it's the Behringer Brains, uh, which is a versatile um, audio synthesizer, as well as a six channel mixer from Bustl Instruments to combine the signals together. Now that the calibration is complete, we can start patching. So first I'm gonna patch the audio signal. This is the normal audio signal generated by the theremin and put it into the first channel of the mixer. And when turning it on, we can see that we have the normal theremin sound and the volume control just as with the regular open theremin. Additionally now, uh, and this works in parallel, we can use the pitch control voltage and put the pitch control voltage into the pitch control of the sound module and connect the output of the sound module to the second channel of the mixer turning it up and so now we actually hear the sound generated by the sound model you can see it on this little display that it's actually producing a sine wave as you can see the volume is not working now this because it's not connected yet so Next, I would connect the volume control out and this can go on the brains into the level. So now we have the volume and the pitch. So this is again playing like a normal theremin with pitch and volume control. And of course, because it's generated by the module, we can now alter the sound. and get a different tone from, from the synthesizer. Instead of putting it uh, just like in the level or in the volume control, we could also, of course, control some other CV function of the synthesizer module. And that would sound something like this. So now the volume control is actually controlling the timber of the sound. You can also change the 
synthesizer and have some <laughs> So you get the idea. And furthermore we have of course the gate signal. So if you plug in the gate into the trigger of the sound module. Playing this together with the normal theremin sound. And the function button also just works as a normal mute button, so if we mute it, both the audio signal and the control voltage will be muted. So I hope you liked it. This was a short overview of using uh, the control voltage together with the audio in the theremin. The kit is now available on Gaudi Shop. Bye bye.